What's up guys? Uh, going to be doing a little tutorial on uh, firing the motors without the artillery computer. Uh, in this video I'm going to be covering working with a spotter uh, and basically hitting targets beyond line of sight even though this is within line of sight of the motor but it's just a demonstration. Um, but basically accurate fire the long distance distances and how to achieve that uh, using a spotter, map tools, range finders, etc. Okay, so currently I'm showing you perspective of the spotter. First thing the spotter is going to need to do is get his position. So using the dagger, there you go, dagger pops up bottom right corner of the screen, and there you have your grid reference. Okay, so now we got our um, location on the dagger here. Okay, unfortunately, we got you can see myself on the map here, but in game, obviously, you're not going to be able to see that. So, you're going to have to mark your position more accurately using the map tools. Okay, so first thing you're going to do open up your map tools, you'll find bottom right corner, drag it over. So, left click and hold to drag it to where you need it on the map. And because we can see here our first coordinate of x axis 0517, go up, read off the numbers on the top 0151. So, the box to the right of that is what we're interested in. The next four digits are 015, which is our x y axis. So, we go to the numbers on the left and right of the screen and we look for 015. We go to where that intersects with the 051 line. And we know that our the box or area we are in is the box to the right of that 051 line and above the 015 line. So then you take your map tools and you want to line up where the two scales intersect, line them up with the lines, and then you can use that to mark your position more more precisely. So. As we said, our x-axis is 0, 5, 1, 7, so now we want to mark the 7. So to do that, we start counting. We start counting from left to right from the 0, 5, 1 mark. Go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. And we can put a mark right there. That's a temporary mark. Then we're going to go to our y axis 0, 1, 5, 3. So from our 0, 1, 5 line, we're going to count up 1, 2, 3. And we're going to line it up with that temporary dot we put in earlier. And there we go. And that is our position spotter. Hit OK. And then we can delete our temporary mark there. Right, so we've got the spotter's position marked. Next thing we need to do as a spotter is using our rangefinder. Okay, we're going to look through the rangefinder at the target that we want to hit. In this case, it's the control our tower on this airfield here. So, from my position, the middle of the building approximately is 215 degrees from my position. So, open up our map. And let's just put to 15 degrees up there. Then next thing we want to do is we want to get a range. So we hit T and you see on the right hand side of the range finder there comes our range which is at 433 meters. Again open up the map, put it in there, 433 meters, sorted. So, you've got a couple of options. As spotter, you can either work out, uh, work out the position of the target by using that information you've gathered and then uh, forward on a grid location to your mortar team uh, if you have time. Or if you're unsure on how to do this, you can then forward this all the information you've recorded, so the position uh, your position on the map, in which case you will forward them the, gr the grid reference readout on your dagger, the bearing of the target from your position, 
and the range from your position and then the motor team can then work it out okay for this example I'm going to show you from the spotters point of view working it out as a spotter okay so for the spotter now we want to work out exactly where that target is so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the pause spotter mark okay we're going to use that little black dot we marked there put it right in the middle of the compass of the map tools and then while holding the alt key you're going to rotate that until it is on 215 degrees let's move the compass out of the way 200 There we go, 215 degrees. <clears throat> Next thing we want to do is we want to measure the range. So we're going to drag the map tools, keeping the same bearing that we've just set up, and put the zero of the scale measurement right on the spot of position, right there. And then we're going to measure 433 meters. Each one of these larger points is, 400, is 100 meters. So 100, 200, 300, 400, and then we're going to go 1, 2, 3. <laughs> okay? And we'll just start with 430, okay? Let's zoom right in, and we'll label that target. Right, so from there, we can now jump through to the motor position. Okay, so now we're at our artillery battery. For this, you want to make sure that you have 82 millimeter range table, map tools, uh, the dagger and the rangefinder we already have. Rangefinder isn't really necessary if you're firing, if you're part of the motor team and firing beyond line of sight. If you are operating uh, within line of sight of your target or quite close to your target, then it can be quite handy. But in this case, rangefinder isn't relevant for the motor crew. So, <clears throat> this is our motor. We're going to get into it as gunner and right click to enter the sight. Okay, and then what we can do is we're going to open up our map and we're going to go to our dagger, which we can't open like this. Let's open it here. Dagger, open the dagger. Okay, there we go. We've got the grid lo location of our motor position there, which technically speaking, if the motor's been set up in a semi-permanent position, this should be the first thing that you're marking on the map. It will speed up your calculations if you don't have to do this when the first targets are called in. So, in this case, we've just set up the motor. We're going to mark the motor position in preparation for the fire mission. Okay, so open up our map, self-interact, map tools, align map tool to north, so we can reset it for marking the location. Drag it over the general area. You can see x-axis 056. We look for the 056 line. We've got that. Then y-axis 016, we look for that on the sides, 016, where they intersect 056 and 016, that's our box of interest. So we take our map tools and we line it up just like that. And then we're going to now work on more accuracy, 0563 on our x-axis, so we count one, two, three from zero five six. And we'll put a mark there. Hold on, this isn't quite central, is it? And we put a mark there. Put it at the bottom here. This is our temporary mark. And then we're gonna go zero one six four for our y axis. So from zero one six we go one, two, three, four. We move across until it lines up with that, and that is our motor pause.
delete the temporary mark right now we've got our mortar position marked so all that's left now is to figure out the bearing from the mortar position to the target so to do that hold out on the map tools rotate it around let's then drag the map tools compass put the center the compass right over mortar position make sure you zoom right in for this for maximum accuracy then we're going to rotate it down until it's right over our target again zoom in to make sure you're right on the right on the money okay let's check then we read out our bearing which is 220, 225, 230, 235, 236, 237, 237 degrees, 237 degrees, then we need to work out our range, so we'll move our zero right over the position of our scale, and then we shall measure distance so we got 100 200 300 400 5 6 7 800 810 820 830 840 845 meters so we we'll put that down here 845 meters hit okay and now we have all the information we need to fire our mortar so we set the mortar to 237 degrees there we go because the target's in line of sight we can see that our bearing is bang on if the target was beyond line of sight you wouldn't be able to see it and confirm this through the sights okay so we got our bearing set now we need to set our range in order to do this you're going to open up your 82 millimeter range table we have three charges on the left hand side here okay three tabs uh, as we can see charge 0 only goes up as far as 450 meters which means we'll go to charge 1 charge 1 gives us an option for 850 okay and we know this is the chart we're going to want to use okay so 850 meters you're looking at an elevation of 1376 okay one thing to remember is that um, <coughs> the higher the elevation, okay, the higher the angle of elevation, the closer you're going to hit. Okay, so essentially to hit further away, your elevation figure needs to drop. Something that does catch people out from time to time. So our range is actually, I think, was it 835? Let's check. Scatter brain. 845, okay. So we're going to use 850. And we should be good. So charge one, eight hundred and fifty, one three seven six the elevation. So you change our charge to charge one using the F button. Charge to change to charge one, which is our semi or medium range. And we're now going to check again because I've forgotten again. 850 meters 1376 and we're going to do it up to 1376 using our page up key you can see elevation going up there we go 1376 bearing 237 we're bang on the money firing one round <coughs> direct hit and we can now fire effect. We're going to put five HE rounds on target. have it.